Who wants to play video game? Hi guys, it's your girl Macy. And for today's vlog, I'm really excited because finally I'm going to tell you guys my book recommendations. So for those of you who don't know, I'm already a graduate in the University of Santo Tomas, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. So before I tell you guys my book recommendations to you, you have to know first that this video is divided into three. First, we're going to discuss the topics in Sipale. Number two, we're going to discuss how accounting schools approach these topics in your curriculum. And third, we're going to discuss my book recommendations for you to maximize your learnings towards your CPA dreams. So we have six exam subjects in Sipale. We have financial accounting and reporting, management advisory services, Advanced financial accounting, advanced financial accounting and reporting, taxation, business law or RFBT, and auditing problems and theories. So, how does a typical accounting school approach these topics in your curriculum? So, the first one is that they introduce you to the basics of accounting. So, in the in here, they're going to give you an overview of the basic accounting principles and concepts, as well as a, um, an overview on merchandising, manufacturing, partnership, and corporations. And then next, we have financial accounting and reporting. So in here, you're going to learn all the details of the accounts. So per account titles, you're going to learn them. It's equivalent to one chapter in your book. So for example, in financial accounting and reporting number one, you have um, assets. So in here, all the assets accounts, you're going to discuss them. Like for example, you're going to discuss cash or accounts receivables. And number two, you're going to discuss liabilities and equity. And then the third one, you're going to discuss financial statements. The reason why you're going to learn financial statements as the last one, because you have to learn how to present all the account titles that you learned in the balance sheet or income statement. And for the theories, you're going to discuss the concept conceptual frameworks, and the accounting standard. And then we also have management advisory services. In here, you're going to have five topics such as financial management, economic development, management accounting, management consultancy, cost accounting, and control. In financial management, you're going to learn the time value of money, how to compete for the valuation of the company. For economic development, you're going to learn micro and macro economics for cost accounting and control you're going to learn about the different costing systems such as job order costing standard costing and many other more for management accounting you're going to learn about relevant cost i mean relevant costing and um, capital budgeting and other budgeting concepts for management consultancy you're going to learn about working capital um, cash management strategies and a whole lot more for taxation you have three you're going to learn income taxation business taxation and special taxation for income taxation you have individuals um corporations partnerships joint rich i mean joint consortiums and a whole lot more for business taxation, you have the VAT, the OPT, and for special taxation, it is for the senior citizens, PWDs, and the PESA. And then next, we have law, or your business law subjects. It is divided into four. You have obligations and contracts, and I think also sales, and then partnership and corporations, negotiable instruments, and special laws. For special laws, you're going to learn about AMLA, Data Privacy Act, and many more. For auditing, you have auditing problems and then auditing theories. So what are my recommended books for, for you to be able to maximize your learning 
in the typical accounting school curriculum. For financial accounting and reporting, for financial accounting and reporting, my suggested book for you in um, is Intermediate Accounting, Volume 1 by Empleo and Robles, as well as Volume 2 and Volume 3. You also have Valix Volume 1, 2, and 3, and then Oberita. And then for theories, you also have Conceptual Framework and Accounting Standards by Milan. And also Notes and Tweezers by Empleo C. Robles. In addition, we also use auditing by Macariola and Espanolia. I know that auditing problems is a bit advanced for financial accounting and reporting. However, you have to anticipate that there are some professors who already give you um, auditing problems even though you're, you're still in the financial accounting and reporting. Because in auditing, um, the problems are more complex, so some professors tend to get problems in auditing resources. And then we also have, oh, I forgot to tell you about kanina sa accounting schools approach, I mean the accounting schools curriculum. I forgot to tell you about advanced financial accounting and reporting or APAR. You have ADVAC 1, ADVAC 2, and ADVAC 3. Or ADVAC 1 and ADVAC 2. Yun lang. For ADVAC 1, basta dito, maaaralin nyo yung home office and branch, partnership, corporate liquidation, business combinations, ayun. So let's go back sa mga recommended books ko. For Advanced Financial Accounting and Reporting or AFAR, you have AFAR by Bagayao, De Jesus, Dayag. So kay Dayag, you have yung book niya na Theories. Meron siyang Volume 1 and Volume 2. And meron din siyang book for na quizzer for CPA exam. So, tatlong books yun. And then, you also have Special Transactions by Milan. Under pa rin siya ng AFAR. Yung kay Milan kasi na book, puro yun concepts. The next, we have Management Advisory Services. So, for financial management, my recommended offers to you is Brigham and Bagayao. Yung kay Sir Bagayao kasi, sobrang, um, Nandun na yung mga simple and complicated transactions. And dinadiscuss din niya kasi yung basic on how you solve financial management na problems. For economics, you have the following authors. Isang book lang to. McConnell Brufley. For cost accounting and control, may dalawa kong book dito, which is Rayburn and Guerrero. For management accounting, meron kami ng international book which is the, um, by Brewer Garri or Garrison. And then we also use quizzers such as Roque and Bobadilla. So yung kay Roque, yung color green, mas easier siya. Siya yung basic, kumbaga. May i-discuss siya doon yung concepts and then meron siyang basic problems. Yung kay Babadilla, yun yung pang-complicated problems. For management consultancy, ang recommended book ko sa inyo is yung kay Agamata. Actually, habang management accounting pa lang, pwede nyo na rin gamitin yung kay Agamata. Pero dahil sobrang dami na nga, recommended ko na lang na dun na lang kayo sa, kay Brewer, Garrison, Roque, and Babadilla. For taxation, we have the books by Sir Tabag. Yung Volume 1 and Volume 2. Volume 1 for Income Taxation. Volume 2 for Business Taxation. And for Special Taxation, I recommend the book by Sir Sebastian. And you also have yung Tax Quizzer na may DIR forms na. Lately, nag-update si Sir Tabag ng Tax Quizzer niya. So yung for 2020 edition, meron na siyang DIR forms. Kasi sa CPA licensure exam, kasali ang BIR forms. So, i-recommend ko sa inyo na 
ang kung niyo is yung with BIR forms, which is yung edition ng 2020. Helpful tong tax quizzer, guys. Kasi ang dami niyong problems. And then, na-discuss din doon yung rationale and solutions. For law, you have obligations and contracts by the Leon, partnership and corporations by the Leon, negotiable instruments by the Leon, notes in business law by Soriano, and for special laws naman, I recommend na kung ano yung handouts na binigay ng professor nyo. Yun yung review nyo na lang. I don't think my libro for special laws. Or if meron man, just comment down below. For auditing, we have auditing problems and theories. For problems, you have Macariola, yung book ni Sir Macariola and Espanilla. Isang book lang yun. Sobrang maganda na tong book na to guys. Kompleto na siya. Pag nag-aaral kami ng auditing problems, babalikan lang namin yung financial accounting and reporting na books namin by Ma'am Empleo. And then, diretsyo na kami kay Sir Macariola and Espinalia na books. And then, meron din mga other books or quizzers such as Roque, then Ocampo. For auditing theories and assurance principles, ang ginagamit namin na book dito is yung kay Ma'am Ireneo. And then, for basic concepts, you have Salosagkol. Meron na rin siyang quizzer, yung kay Salosagkol. And then, for more advanced na multiple choice questions, okay. And Bobadilla. Hindi ko masyadong nagamit yung Bobadilla ko. Nag-focus na lang ako kay Ireneo, Salosagkol, and okay. So, that's all for my accounting book recommendations. Sana marami kayong um, napulot na or natutunan. I hope this is helpful to you guys. And if you have other video suggestions or if may tanong kayo, just comment down below. And like this video if natulungan ko kayo. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And thank you guys for the people na patuloy na sumusupport sa channel na ito. You know who you are, guys. I truly appreciate you guys. And sorry if medyo na late tong video na to. Lately kasi medyo na dead demotivate ako sa maraming bagay because my plans are delayed. Kasi nga, hindi na postpone yung October 2000. Kasi na postpone yung October 2020 si pare. Tapos, hindi pa sure uncertain pa yung May 2021 si Pale. So, parang, nafo-frustrate ako. Parang gusto ko na munang mag-work, ganun. But, I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> I'm really a bit frustrated about things right now because, ayun, certain yung nga kasi kayo may usag pa rin yung life nyo, diba? As a student, you still get to study. Although, I know the feeling na minsan magko-complain ka na lang kasi ang hirap umusad or challenging challenging mag-aral. Pero isipin nyo na lang, there are people like me na stuck talaga na hindi alam yung gagawin because super uncertain, wala kaming choice but to wait kung kailan ang CPA licensure exam. Isipin nyo na lang kung gaano kahirap yun, guys. Like, how do you not motivate yourself to study when you don't even know when your exam is, di ba? So, yun. But, I update ko kaya sa ganap ng life ko and I'm not yet ready to fully disclose all my plans, but meron talaga akong plano for this 2020. Kahit iyon lang sana yung matuloy. I'm praying sana matuloy siya. Sana successful ako dun. Yeah. Although, I really find it hard to motivate myself lately. Kagabi gumawa ako ng ano, progress tracker para matrack ko na yung progress ko. <laughs> so, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. At umabot ka hanggang dito. Love na talaga kata. Bye!